Um, I have a question. My name is Bruno, and um, I'm a big believer of like going to the extreme and like being adventurous and kind of like taking things to the next level when it comes to like you know showing people your opinion and voicing them. But I wanted to ask you, what is the limit, in your opinion, of how extreme you could take this whole thing? Because like you know, going to Iraq, like I feel like all of us here would be to the extreme level of like, should we do it, should we not? What is your extreme to like, you know, what's your limit on where you would take things to prove a point? It, it definitely changes. When the first time I went to Ethiopia, the limit was Ethiopia. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the second time I went to Ecuador, the limit became Amazon rainforest and there's people who kill, the tribes who kill you, if they see you. Then Ethiopia happened again and I became very, I thought that I could do this and then it, it, the limit was Iraq. And I, it's, I'm no different, man. I'm, I'm as scared as you would be or any other person would be. <coughs> I was really scared walking into the country. I, but I was just talking to professors today morning that how our parents, I am from India. My parents have always told me to not talk to a stranger. <laughs> do not, you know, do this. Do not, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure all of us, all of us, the m most human things are the same. It's in media. It, just destroys everything, a little bit of faith we have in some place. I did not see one violent thing here. And I think I still keep in touch with people I met in Iraq. I still my, I have some of my best friends in Ethiopia, some of my best friends in, are in Ecuador and across. We are fundamentally all the same. It's 99, as I said, 99.9% .9 of our do not want it. It's just 1%. So if you are fine, if. Um, I don't think it's, it's it there's anything to be scared about. If your intentions are genuine, people get it. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, anyone else? Uh, how can like we get involved? How can other people kind of be a part of this? Now As an artist, I think there are a lot of opportunities, and I think we should be. I have been angry. I'm sure all of you have been angry by looking at news and a lot of things which have been happening which we do not accept. And I think channelize the anger. Channelize where it could be put and what could be done. There's not always, it's not always about getting it back. It's not always about money. I have never thought about money. I have never, I did not even ask one time how much was gonna, I was gonna get paid for this job. I just wanted to do it. I wanted to do my bit of contribution to this particular issue. Just to add to that question, I think another thing that you can do as students and young people is get educated know what's going on, and advocate for the causes. You know, Tripala's very brave and he had this amazing opportunity. The rest of you don't have to say, oh, you know, because I can't go over there and do that, then I don't have to do anything. The fact that you're here, to be honest with you, in this busy time of year, that you're learning about this issue, that you'll take classes that focus on the world beyond, you know, 27th Street, that that's all really important and the more you educate yourself the more you care and the more you advocate however that advocacy will take shape is better for really the world um, so after your experience with all these different countries and all these different people what do you think is your next step as a photographer um, I have been working with the last living generations mm -hmm. of communities and I think it's, it's, it's an it's a thing which I want to document across the globe of people who are the last living generations, like the headhunters, the Purani. They are the generation which is going to go away in the next 20, 30 years. And I think that's an important recommendation. So I think I'm going to definitely do that. And another dream project is to photograph the Pashmagas. Pashmagas are the only force which is fighting ISIS and holding them back on the ground. One of the only forces fighting ISIS. So I really want to give a face to that part. I mean, made some connections in Iraq when I was there. It's difficult to get access, but made some connections, hopefully. Yes. Why did you choose to put your subjects um, just like, on a wide right screen? I think it has always been a thing because I want to make it about the people. When I first got back from Ethiopia, my picture was not about, it was about the whole landscape and uh, the things around. People really appreciated the people, <coughs> people missed the point of they said, oh my god, beautiful picture, look at this, look at that, but the point was the person. So I decided to strip it all down and make it about the human thing.
All right, two more questions there and there. There's a class in this room, so we have um, <coughs> when three more lit, questions, one here. Thank when you lit your images, did you, like, were you in a rush, like, kind of, like, nervous for, like, what's going to happen, like, when you set up your lights, and how did you light it? Initially, it's always like that. To start with, it's always like that, but as I said, like, when things really start happening, when things really slow down, things slow down, and you kind of get into the whole story. But there's always a sense of, what next what's going to happen? Should I be careful? It's always okay. um, How do you think we can demand more from our leaders so that they'll actually do something about this? Because right now, our supposed leaders really aren't doing anything. I think I'm someone really small to comment on something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this all depends on awareness. Even yeah. a small lecture like this creates a lot of awareness. So it's very important, as Professor Selig said, at the end of the day, it's really about education. In a way, it makes the way of that's powerful matter. I think stand up against something you believe is not acceptable. Um, what advice do you have for young photographers like myself who want to get into more documentary work? Just work hard, extremely hard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, just keep working hard. And uh, it's not about money all the time. I've said this consistently when I spoke in classes and stuff. It's it's not about money. The best stories and the best lessons you're going to learn are not going to from something you're going to get paid for. So just keep your eyes open, work hard, and work towards what you are really connected to. And there are ways. If you really want to make it happen, I promise you there are going to be ways to make it happen. Like it's, it just falls in place. For you. But you have to have the will to do it. I can tell you, I can end this with a story of working hard. So we were traveling in the Himalayas, and there was a cloud burst, a whole big mountain melted. And I was just in a panic mode. I didn't know what to do. I was walking on the street. People disappeared. <laughs> and I saw him on the mountains. And I had no idea there is someone there. And I go up, and there this guy is shooting. And then he created video. Some of you who saw my exhibition, that video was created uh, by him. It's so and beautiful. Alexander. Uh, and and Alex Alexander. there. And Alex I, has been a part of 90% of my trips. Uh, and I cannot tell you. You know, that hard work, you know, I could not have imagined that in that worst situation where we were really stuck for days, actually he found some work. You know, so hard work, thank you. Thank you very much. For